this um, this shared ministry. There's apostolic teams for this shared ministry. Great to see David here last week. Well, it wasn't great for me to see David here last week because I was somewhere else last week. Okay, getting ministered too. Brilliant. Shared ministry. You need to do more of that. I think they need other people preaching more. Not only because you get sick of the sound of my voice, which you haven't yet, but you might have done already, <laughs> but it happens, you know. And also because other people bring other things that they need. And it's good for them. It's good for them too. Shared ministry. Look, Paul talks about it's to Philemon, our co worker. Ministries grown around the edges of these apostolic teams. To some extent, of course, well, why did this grow? Ministry gets shared, but certainly after it's grown, ministry is shared. Philemon is not our worker. Philemon is our co worker. And if the Apostle Paul's speaking, that's ever so important, isn't it? He's not the person treated like the apprentice who starts as an apprentice pushing a broom and graduates to be able to make the team. I see that. Where churches are able to have teams of uh, lads training. That's what happens. Happens a lot. I'm going to be a bit personal and embarrass Karis, but it was great on Friday night. Karis would come with me to go and visit an elderly lady who'd been bereaved. Devastatingly so. And it was great to see Karis there pick up and run. Brilliant. I just felt prompted to get out and go in the kitchen and talk to somebody else. It was great to see Karis pick it up. You know? mm-hmm. How do you do more of that? You could have come. I'd be invited to you. I didn't know you were here. Um, but we need to do more of that. Let's co work this together. Because the only way you or I or any of us can go into situations of difficulty and deal with people and help them is in dependence on the same God that they're dependent on anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully, we've got good at listening, but that was good. But you want to always work for them, aren't Our co worker. Our worker together. Philemon is Paul's co worker, not his skin. And then there's Afia, our sister. This woman with the name from over the top of the mountain pass and down the other side in Phrygia. She's a bit odd, she is. She's from over there. But no, we're all together in this sort of this multi-ethnic, diverse community of people. We can cope with eccentricity and difference, hope so. Because that's what the church is supposed to do. I've said a bit already about this guy, Archippus, our fellow soldier. Paul doesn't refer to Christians as soldiers. He refers to people who have been in a tussle with him as soldiers. People who, for the sake of the gospel, are fellow soldiers with him because they've taken some incoming fire. So they stand for the gospel. Our fellow soldier. Not we were out front leading and looking after the people who were also taking a bit of fact behind us. We all have a right to suffer for our faith. Our brothers and sisters and our children. 